Hello and welcome to my first ever Minecraft video of commentary, which is the first thing I've ever done. Um, today I'm just going to show you one of my builds I've just finished working on. It's basically a power plant using big reactors, mechanism, and ADE2 all together in one. And then with Buildcraft being the one that saves the blueprints so I can actually take it off this world, which is in creative and put it in a survival situation world for use. So let's go ahead in. First thing you see is dark and on your right is basically the tanks and there's tons of tanks and everything so let's turn the lights on. And oops I forgot that I did not add, since this, since this is basically the basic build I did not have power running in here. I'll show you the working one later, let's see. So let's, so all to get the lights back on is just place creative block there. And there, power's online and you heard something switch so I'll show you that later. So first thing you come into is basically when you first build it is you got things for the salation because for some reason Buildcraft has not built the sally. I think I'm saying it right. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, salination tanks to make brine, which is used for mechanisms um, four times production of ores. So right and then from here, here's the pumps for the water, which will then feed into this big tank here. Which will then feed into the reactor, which is pretty much well calibrated. That sounds wrong. Let's fix that real quick. Um, let's see, sign. Well, basically, it's supposed to be set at set control rods at 35. Oops, 35%. Done, and here's where you put the fuel to run it all. In this small little AEHS with a small drive here that's in the picture, and then all that. Over here is the steam storage tank for when you're producing steam before it goes into the main turbines of the big reactor. That way, it has a buffer before it goes in. So, so if this thing's having problems producing enough steam at one point, with problems with the pump system or something, at least you have enough steam where you can keep the turbine spinning. Um, over here we have four turbines, each with gold induction coils, which is how they produce their energy. Each one's produce, produce around six, 16,000 RF, which is pretty good. You put all these together, that's about, I didn't do the math, but let's, let's do quick math. I think it's like 48 to 50,000 RF, maybe more or less, so you can check the math if you want. And over here's the salination takes, what's this? This is where you store the brine, which is produced by the four salination tanks. Um, I basically this is for the forex processing for when you get to make enough when you get the forex processing ore with mechanism. And here, right here, here's a little set piston stand you heard earlier. Just switch that, and it leads up to the skylight where you can access. Where you can see the top of the tank here, and you got one, two, three, four salinations. Granted, they're missing pieces, but that'll be soon be fixed. Over there is the actual working one. So let's go over there now. Well, I'm going over. I just tell you, this is this is a custom mod pack I've been working on. So over here. Sorry about the way it's built, but that's what the way the builder did. Over here you have a working one with full water tanks and a brine tank slowly filling. And we have a reactor running at 35, a little hot, but not too hot. It's got a pretty good um, waste to fuel rate, I mean fuel to waste ratio where, it, where it's very slow. It's been running for a while now. It's only made like three ignix. Um, you see all that? Here's the steam buffer, it's pretty low on steam, but it's slowly building up, as you can see, but that means it's good, really well optimized. And here you got the four, the lag, you got the four turbines all spinning at once, and they all should be maxed out, so we go check, see, maxed. I say, according to the mod of Big Reactor, it says 18,000 is golden, so a little bit over is pretty much golden. Here's the four salination tanks, and they're all producing prime. And like in the last one, 
Got lights. So I should turn them off, but I think this isn't broken. For oh, there we go. No delay. And turn back on and delay again, I guess. And you see they're all back on. And here's the salvation tanks up top. And you can see they're all complete and each one's producing at about 11,000 F, 8 multi 8x with height of 12 structured, which is pretty good if you want. I'm not sure what the mouth multi is, never used sound tapes before. I recently got into them. I always like the 8, a 3 point. Also, salvation brine can be used actually, brine is used to make um, hydrogen and, and sodium, which the hydrogen. Or, I can't remember which one it is, I'll have to double check on the goal, but basically the brine was used in the, to make a gas of hydrogen and sodium gas, which then is used in the first step in the 4x production of ores. Um, the blocks on the outside, in case you're wondering, is AE, um, Skystone, which is cooked um, meteors when you go to find them. And that's pretty much just this my little power plant. No, not little, it's pretty much big. It's got pieces of a lot of power, but... It, and those injection coils in there, you can actually increase them. Um... With endorium with... Or electric... Light ignit blocks from thermal craft, and you get actually more power. So right now, they're not running at the maximum power usage that it can produce, but right now, it's pretty good for starters. Um... With each one out, I found with going up from gold to, I believe, it was electrolyte, you have to increase the power of the turbines just by 100, and you have to do the same with the reactors, keep them balanced. You see here, I got full, full, a bunch of elite energy cubes full of power. That took a while, but it was a good show. So, this is my power plant. I may or may not put a blueprint. Link in the description. I'm still working on things. I like to like leave things out to try in survival before actually you put. I like to put in survival and uh, link down. So this is it. And thank you for watching and see ya.